Miss Angel wants to be part of Shout Outs. Come here. It's time for Neighborhood Community Shout Outs. Sylvia Bawari. Welcome Hello. to the neighborhood. Grace Siri. Welcome Hello. to the neighborhood. This is going to be a long one. Damien Merchant. Welcome Hello. to the neighborhood. Elements. Welcome Hello. to the neighborhood. He has a channel, guys. I told him I would let everybody know. Make sure you go by and check it out. Love Cupcakes 86, welcome to the neighborhood. And Amy Elizabeth, welcome to the neighborhood. Shout out to Greg Myers, whose new channel name is The Psycho Uncle Show. He also has a birthday coming up on September 19th. So happy birthday to you, Greg Myers. Amber Resterholtz, congratulations on her new baby boy. I know I congratulated her once, but now I have the name and the date. So Amber Resterholtz, congratulations on the birth of baby boy Carter Martin James Cooper, born on May 3rd, 2017. A lot of names. Yeah, it's a long name, but congratulations. Erica Yuntz. Congratulations on her baby girl, Emmy, born August 13th, 2017. Congratulations, guys. Make sure you watch for something in the mail coming from me, so, or coming from us. Christy Shiver, even though it has nothing to do with the hurricane, she would hire Kevin if he lived in Florida to do some home improvements. Sierra, shout out to Sierra Ferguson's life. Cam Johnson, thank you for watching our videos every night before you go to bed. We love to hear that. Yeah, it puts you to sleep, doesn't it? Cures <laughs> sure insomnia. Um, Sylvia, Sylvia Phillips, their new channel name is My Autistic Brain Tumor Survivor. And I just want to give you guys an update on how fantastic... Bethany is doing. If all of you guys know, don't know who Beth, if any of you don't know who Bethany is or Sylvia is, I urge you to go over to My Autistic Brain Tumor Survivor, that channel, and check them out. They are an amazing, amazing family. And Bethany, who is the Autistic Brain Tumor Survivor, is just started outside an outside class and this is what a letter that was sent home with her bethany had a fantastic day she helped with fall crafts while we listened to music she is a great dancer she is learning peers names and doing well with that she ate lunch with us today she took care of her lunch things and went outside to play basketball with peers she was pretty excited about that. She also swang on the swings. At the end of the day, she strung beads. Bethany did very good job following class, rule rooms, and was very nice to her peers. All in all, it was a great day. Right. I am so happy to hear that. I personally got a chance to meet Sylvia, Malcolm, and Bethany. And I love them. And if you haven't watched them, you are really missing out. So go check them out. Um, little LB. If you guys don't know her, she's got a YouTube channel as well as an Instagram. Make sure you go by and check her out. Her and her husband wrote a book. And it's called True Ghost Stories. Right down our alley. Yeah. True Ghost Stories by Louise Ives, and it's available on Kindle. We will put the link in the description. Mm -hmm. Amazon Kindle, it's a download. Yeah, it's only a download. It is going to be available in paperback further down the line. She's going to let me know when that does happen, so I'll let you guys know when that does happen. But 
We did you buy it yet? No, but I will. We're going to buy a, a, the Kindle copy and we're going to read it and review it and let you guys know what we think. But if you guys get it before we do, let us know what you guys think and definitely let LB know what she what you guys think. Yeah. Yeah. Give her reviews on Amazon. Yeah, definitely give her reviews. Good reviews, good thumbs up for her, and, and, and help her out. That sounds like an amazing book. I can't wait to read it. And Sean Hernandez, I don't know if you guys, he's, he's not a YouTuber, but he's an amazing guy. We gave away a magnet not too long ago. Um, I don't know if we gave away the pumpkin or the clown head or which one we gave away. But he has now come up with some new products. A lot of new products. He's making bottle openers. He's making ornaments. It's all horror and, stuff. Yeah, it's all horror stuff. He is an amazing artist. And he doesn't only make magnets and stuff like that. He makes actual props as well. Yeah, Halloween props. Halloween props. Mm. So I advise you guys very strongly to go to Instagram and look up Corpse Maker One, and you will see some of the the products that Sean um, does carry. Mm -hmm. He does a lot of the events around here. Um, More than we do. Yeah, he 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 goes to all of the events. He's always there when we get, when we go. Yeah, and he's just an amazing <clears throat> person. Him and his entire family. So if you get a chance, make sure to swing by on Instagram. Tell them Kevin and Valerie from the neighbors sent you by to say hi and um, that we, you know, love his products and, and, you know, just give them a thumbs up and say hi. Um, but really check him out. They're, they're amazing. Um, okay, time for thoughts and prayers, guys. Um, Elizabeth Childs prayers for her second cousin who is helping to rescue people from the hurricane due to the destruction. They won't be able to have a funeral for her cousin who passed away for at least two weeks. So our heart goes out to you, Elizabeth, and to your entire family. Uh, Greg Meyer's cousin Brad lives in Florida. He's been without power for days. Margatech Clevenger, I don't know how you fared through the hurricane, but we hope all is well. Daryl Roper was fine during the hurricane, but a tree crashed on his car the following day. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, that, that stinks. Uh, Sherry Rayner, I'm alive and well. Power is back on. I tried getting video, but Irma hit us late at night, so you can't see anything. My family made it safe. Unfortunately, there was damage to my middle brother's roof. It now leaks inside the front wall foundation of his house, and his air conditioner wasn't working when the power came back on. My gramps' roof lost half his shingles. My oldest brother had some big branches in his yard. My house had no damage, but most of the people around me had damage. Few trees landed on houses around me and flooding, but luckily it did not flood on my block. I feel and pray for those who lost loved ones, but I'm thankful my family all survived. Awesome. Good to hear that. Um, I have a lot of family that lives down in Florida, and I've been in contact with all of them, and they are all safe as well. So, and then we also have Bambi. Um, Bambi's son Christopher is having a lot of issues with the metals that are in his back, and it has broken through the skin. He is in severe pain and might have to go through some more surgeries. So, if everyone could please keep Christopher, you guys all know that Bambi and, and Kirsty and Christopher and Kevin and I were, were, were very close um, and it's very hard for them so if you can please keep them in your thoughts and prayers um, as we are, are going to do as well um, we would greatly appreciate that and Bambi you know we love you and if there's anything we can do to help please let us know okay I know this is going long because we missed a few weeks here guys 
Um, so anyway, just thoughts and prayers for everybody who's been affected by all the fires and all the, the bad weather. There's More another coming. hurricane coming, so, you know, please be safe, everybody. And if you're, you need to evacuate, please evacuate. Don't, don't try and tough it out. Okay, my question last week was, what is your favorite video from Kevin Home Improvement videos? Terry Johnson, Kevin fixing up the upstairs and doing jobs over at Nikki and John's place. Yeah, I think I liked a lot of those. So. Bambi S, I have experienced Kevin's holes in wall. I only put one hole in her. I like all of his handiwork videos. The scariest, though, was when he had to create the scaffold deal just to do the ceiling and walls above the stairs. Yeah, that was kind of scary. Um, <laughs> it was fine. But I, I trust Kevin, and I knew he was going to be safe doing it. So, But yeah, that was kind of scary. just hit my head going up and down the stairs. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people did. Not me. <laughs> The Abyss. I like seeing Kevin doing the plumbing. He likes when you get wet. <laughs> Big D Jr. I think my favorite DIY was or is the front room. I also like the plumbing because I was a plumber. Well, we could use you out here, Big D. Yeah. I kept telling the TV, this is what's wrong, laugh out loud. I knew he could figure it out. Were you talking about the toilet that I worked on for weeks? <laughs> Probably. And I didn't realize the tank was leaking? <laughs> uh, Tanya Longley, I love the ghost investigations. I was going to say my favorite was when you were electrocuted by Val, laugh out loud. I think I like the videos when he cuts down all the weeds from the lawn. Yeah, having a nice clean lawn is, excuse me. Is very nice. It's very nice to have a nice fresh cut lawn. And she wants to know what her pretty. part is. Yeah, the angel's kind of scratching at us here. And Elizabeth Childs, I can't think of a favorite construction video because I like to see whatever project he will do next. Who needs HGTV? <laughs> Who needs HGTV? You got Kevin! <laughs> okay, so my question for this week I'm going to give you guys a tough one. If you had to choose, which neighborhood pet would be your favorite? Freckles, Angel, Boomer, or Mojo? And we may just send them to you. Airmail. Nah. Stick them in a box. We'll send you a picture of them, but we're not going to send you the animal. <laughs> I'm going to turn it over to Kevin for his question of the week. Okay. <clears throat> Two weeks ago, if you remember, I asked a question about one of my favorite, Val's favorite, horror films. Uh, the first one and the remake, House on Haunted Hill. The original 1959 uh, with Vincent Price, who played millionaire Frederick Lauren. And in the 1999 remake, Jeffrey Rush played the same character, but with the name Stephen Price. Um, uh, they had, uh, whose name, they, they named him Stephen Price in honor of um, Vincent Price, who had died just before the movie. Uh, Jeffrey looked like Vincent Price, but he was not trying to look like him. Who was he trying to look like? And he was trying to look like John Waters. And if you look him up, you'll see um, they, they had a very similar mustache. And I think he wanted his character to be more like John Waters. But he's a writer-director who uh, wrote and directed Hairspray, Cry Baby, Pink Flamingos. Um, so uh, those who got that right was Terry Johnson, Bambi S, The Abyss, 92882, and Tanya Longley. Woohoo! All right, it's an easy one today. Uh, a movie last year came out called Don't Breathe. <gasps> you can breathe. Okay. But uh, it was about a bunch of kids breaking into a house of a blind guy thinking they were going to be able to rip a blind and he turns out to be a very scary character. Stephen, uh, Stephen Lang and Jane Levy starred in it. 
big question, the only question I have is, where was it filmed? There you have it, guys. You are all part of our neighborhood community, each and every one of you out there. We would not be here if it weren't for all of you. We love you all very much, and we will see you all next week on another episode of Neighborhood Community Show!